But let me tell you, there are two ways we can get out of the pit, biblically speaking. And I want you to go with me in one way, just allegorically, just for the sake of making an example today. Some person can pull us out of a pit or God can pull us out of the pit. I want you to think about whether a human being, when a human being is the person that pulls us out of a pit. What would our biblical example be? Well, Joseph's brothers. We're going to go back to that for just a moment. Now, what I realize here, and this is where the parallel does not match up perfectly, God's sovereignty was at work when they pulled Joseph out of the pit and they sold him off into slavery. That was God's absolute sovereignty. But I want to just get you to go with me a place that I believe is biblically sound, that when we are in a pit and it is a human being that in our minds has pulled us out and not God, they will sell us off into slavery every single time. Every single time it is a human being that we see as our personal savior. And no, no, we're not calling them Jesus. We're just acting like they are. Is that making sense to anybody? Any time it is a person that we are convinced pulled us out of a pit, they will sell us off into bondage. We will be in slavery. The only deliverer that we have that will not sell us off into slavery is Jesus Christ. There is no other way. Now, one time I taught on a dimension of this, and a woman lifted her hand up in a very large audience, and somehow I thought to myself, I needed to answer her question, and that just does not happen in a really large group. And I knew that the Holy Spirit had ordained it. I knew she had a question every one of them wanted to ask. She said, does that mean we shouldn't see a counselor? Whoa! I was so glad that she brought that up. I said, absolutely not. I'm a huge proponent of sound, godly counseling. But a good counselor will make absolutely sure you know who your deliverer is. Someone can help you see who your deliverer is. But if they themselves, if that person in your mind, if it translates into your psyche that that person is your deliverer, you're in bondage. You're in bondage. Jesus alone. Jesus alone. So often uses human vessels to point the way but there is only one deliverer, and that is Christ Jesus.